So at this point, what I'm doing is, with linseed oil, I have mixed my colors that I used yesterday once again. And um, to make all of the paint pliable, I've started with ultramarine blue and also titanium white, mixing it with my linseed oil and applying it on top of what was previously dry so that I will have the ability to work into this sky more detail and of course I'm layering the thinnest of a coat over what has previously been done. This will allow me to go back in with color and add some drama to the clouds. This being a very, very large sunset view, I see myself going back in with dark tones and some lavender tones, some sunset colors, and adding a lot of intensity and drama to this artwork. So, for a start, so that I can easily apply color, I've gone over absolutely everything. And I'm faintly adding the darkest tones to the highest portion of the sky. And decreasing to the lower horizon area a much lighter tone. But again, this will change as we progress. This is a four foot by five foot canvas. And while I have the paint on my brush, I'm going to start applying it even to the sides of the canvas because I'd like the artwork to wrap around the sides so that when we install it into my client's home, it will stand alone with or without a frame, however she chooses. Now down near the horizon, the color is lighter and softer, and I'm not taking out what was previously done, just adding to it. So I'm careful to mix lots of white into that as I get low. And just a subtle, darker variation up high. Wrapping the sides, like I said, with a little color. Blending that into the artwork. And now, the whole canvas is prepared to start adding even more color and drama to this sunset. I hope to really leave that wonderful streaking cloud and then just continue from here. So this is the first of a series of videos that will reveal the process of this artwork. Thanks, Jane Curl. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time on the next video. Bye for now.